Hey, man, my bad. Oh, man, I can't wait to start live streaming from something else. What's up, Cameron? How are you, man? I saw your comment. Didn't I reply to your comment recently? Sorry about that, man. I got to get a new, a new device for streaming because this device is just not going to do good in the heat and stuff because it's an older iPhone. So maybe I'll get a new iPhone just for streaming with. I'm not too big of a phone guy. I don't really be caring about phones much because I don't talk to people. <laughs> Only person I talk to literally is Al. Me and Al Blades talk every other day or every day. And if I'm not talking to him, I'm not talking to anybody else. So having a, the newest phone really ain't the move for me. And I can save money by not just keeping my phone. That's just how I am. But when you know you need to invest in something for a greater cause, you got to. And this live streaming thing is gonna be big for all of us. So I gotta make sure I'm on point but this is the last stream that we're doing on youtube the next stream will be on my personal app that i have being made just for y'all and we should be rolling it out next week sometime and on that app it's not going to be just about me youtube is not making it fair i don't think they make you have to use obs and obs this is this software that you can sync up with your webcam and you can control it but they make you have to use all these third party apps just to um, bring people into your video call. So through the, the app, you guys will be able to utilize your camera on your phone or mobile device, and you'll be able to speak to me face to face. That's what YouTube is not really giving the people, man. They're just making the talent or the creator, um, they're giving them the access to get on the camera but what about your subscriber what if they want to talk to you real quick and they want you to see them this is what the app is going to bring that type of communication where y'all can just tap in and be like hey ap i want to talk to you real quick and i can let you come in and then you can put your your camera on and i can see you and you can see me this is a more direct way for me to get to know you and for you to get to know me as well and um, we can do tutorials if certain people have certain questions or certain things they want to learn from me if i can teach it to you i'm going to teach it to you i'm not the type that's going to hold valuable information from my subscribers we're here to learn together and grow together so if there's something i know how to do that you're wanting wanting to learn whether that's um weed eating or embroidery or anything video editing filming anything the things that i know i'm going to teach y'all okay if you want to learn how to make stickers i teach you how to make stickers A lot of y'all say y'all don't see me drink no water, but it's because I don't always record it. I, that's why I've been trying to put little snippets in there of me drinking water so y'all understand that I do stay hydrated. I don't, I'm not foolish. I don't get out here and try to go crazy and not drink fluids, man. That's That'll get you in the hospital for real. So let me see what y'all saying so I can respond to y'all because when I'm cutting grass, it's a little bit hard to do that. And I'm sorry for the last stream. I don't really like how this is going. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one on there. I might just keep the first part because I don't want to. Like I said, I don't want to draw attention attention away from my premiere, man. I worked too hard on that premiere for it for it not to get attention. I need people to watch that, not really this. But I wanted to give y'all extra content because y'all always ask, like, I wish you would do more than one video a week. And I don't mind doing more than one video a week, but um. Y'all gotta realize I put a lot into my editing. I don't just edit regular videos. I really sit there and um, get creative. Every episode is different. You know, like every episode is different, different interactions with different people, different ideas, different uh, skits that I can bring in from other movies that I loved when I was a kid, but it has to make sense. I can't just throw random clips in from movies just to make you laugh. It has to go along with the dialogue. It has to go along with the, what's going on in, the, in the, um, the video. So that causes me to have to sit there and really contemplate and come up with cool, creative ideas. So um, I don't really want to be doing that. 
two to three times a week and putting out two to three videos that I have to sit there and really, really concentrate on. I don't want to hire anybody either. There's been people in my emails asking me, uh, I think top notch is editor. I'm just going to put it out there. Top notch channel has an editor and his editor hit me up in my email like a month ago and Al, Al say he hit him up too. Yeah, both of us. Uh, I, I'm top notch as editor. Um, I can take a lot of work off of you. I can edit your videos. No, I'm sorry. I'm not being rude, but this channel is me. All right. And no matter what, I don't care how big I grow. That's why I'm staying, sticking to my guns. I'm sticking to my formula. I'm not trying to grow quick or nothing like that. I want to be able to be in full control of my channel. I don't want anybody editing my stuff. No. I'm not doing that. I'm a creator. Why would I let somebody else create content for me? It's not happening. Owl Blades must miss you. You both are. Listen, man, me and Al talk every day. Of course, I miss my homie. Of course, like, but I'm going to see him tomorrow because I miss him. I said, bro, I'll come over there and hang out with you tomorrow. He said, I'm going to cut a yard tomorrow, but um, you come up, come to the house. I said, I'll come over there. As soon as you're done, I'll come hang out. So... It ain't nothing, you know what I mean? Al is my best friend, so it don't matter what's going on. I can go hang out with him anytime I want, you know? I miss the kids, too. Um, Noah just turned. Man, I guess, man, you kidding me. Noah just turned one years old. His son. Noah just turned one years old, and I miss Olivia. I can't be away from them for too long because then they start forgetting who I am. And um, I really miss Olivia. Every time I see her, she's getting bigger and bigger. I need to go get her some sneakers. I'm trying to turn her into a sneakerhead, so I need to go get her some more shoes from the mall. AP drinks water, I'm telling y'all, I don't play. Matter of fact, I'm about to drink another one right here with y'all. I don't play when it comes to being hydrated, man. A little do y'all know I have asthma. So all the, there ain't no excuses, man. Come on, if y'all, you know, if you're sick and you know disabled, of course you can't get out here and do this work. But I have asthma, and I, you know, I take it lightly, but it's a serious thing, you know. Um, my parents weren't bad when they did this, but they were the type of parents that were like, oh, he grew up, he grew out of it. He he's playing sports, he's fine. He grew out of the asthma, and I wanted to believe that because I wanted to seem tough when I was a kid, you know. So I went along with it. But, um, yeah, I like Gatorade, too. I, I keep those with me, too, because of the electrolytes. You know what I mean? The water doesn't always give you everything you need. You have to have something else, too, with the water. The water will keep you hydrated, but also you need electrolytes to keep you keep you going, man, or you'll get real weak. So I like to drink Gatorade um, with water. And sometimes those body armors, too. Those body armor drinks are really good. Um, I think Gatorade came out with a, a real special uh, electrolyte drink. I've been drinking that as well. So um, I try to make sure I stay with the water and electrolytes when I'm out here in this hot sun because um, that's what do it to you, the sun. You're sweating so much that you have to replenish yourself. And if you don't and you just continue to sweat all the fluids out your body, you're not going to have anything to run off of in your body. So make sure y'all take care of yourselves while you're out here, please. I mean, here in the chat, DBS put which I, I missed it. Um, put in what you wanted me to see. I'm sorry. I haven't received my pen. You want something? Listen, uh, it'd be people lying. Don't be lying, man. Come on now. That's one thing I don't like is a liar. Now I ain't being. I ain't trying to be mean to you. I'm just saying, if if I owe you something, then I owe you something. But don't don't lie, because we had to deal with that when we first started. Me and Al, when me and Al first started on his channel, and we were doing giveaways. There will be people that will email us lying, saying that they won something, trying to get the giveaway that was that actually belonged to somebody else. And we were like, come on, man, like you didn't win. Somebody else won, but you're trying to fool us. And we would get tricked sometimes. We were sending out free merch to people that never even won anything. They just knew the email to email that stuff to. And then they would email it and say, hey, I was the one that won, knowing they didn't even win. <laughs> No one ain't even win. They just was doing that. And they fooled us a few times that we had to send out free merch. I don't mind sending out free merch to subscribers, but I try to make it fun and also rewarding for the people that actually watch the videos. You know what I mean? It's about 
doing trivia so I can see who's watching the videos and I want to reward those people that's really supporting the channel. Um, if you come and you watch a video and just for giveaways, that's how they be scamming for real. It'd be people that come to these live streams just to try to get giveaways all day. They'll never subscribe to your channel. They just look for live streams all throughout the day to jump into for uh, giveaways. It's, it's weird. The internet is weird, man. But anyways, let's get back over there and finish up this yard so we can go home. I'm going to go ahead and pull the lawnmower over there. And as soon as I'm done weeding, we can just go ahead and cut the grass. How y'all enjoying this live stream, though? Is this, is this something that y'all can get used to? Because, um... We're not, we're going to keep doing these, but we're not going to, I don't know if I can squeeze through there. We're not going to do it on YouTube. We're going to do it on my app that's being created right now. Can we get through there? It's going to be a tight fit. I might have to lift up the lawnmower. Hold on, y'all. See if I can lift the lawnmower up. excuses y'all another long person would have been like i can't fit through your fence i can't get my mower through there nope gotta make it work <sighs> this is the perfect yard for today i might just save mr lopez yard what y'all think I should do, Mr. Lopez yard as a premiere or what? Y'all let me know. We can save his yard for a premiere. I you, on you do? Yes, I do. Thank you. You gonna be here for a little bit? Uh, well, for how long? For a little bit. I won't be here for too much long. I'm gonna knock on the door and give you something before I leave, okay? Okay. I'll follow you on YouTube. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate that's, the support. That's satisfying when you watch y'all cut. Oh, oh, you like that too? Yeah, I had talked to her earlier. I'm sorry to hear about the loss, okay? Um, I told her to, like, if y'all need something, make sure you reach out. Um, I'm going to leave her with the number before I leave, but, you know, I ain't got a lot. But if y'all just need help during this time, make sure you reach out. I'll leave my number and stuff, okay? No problem.
Yo, let's get out of here. Let's head to the back. Let's cut it out here. They got some strong jeans. They look like twins, her and that lady. I knew that was her sister. They look so much alike. All right. We ready now. We got the lawnmower back here. Now we just gotta go ahead and just weed it. I'm gonna leave these vines alone, y'all, because there are specific yards where I know that the people would like privacy. And I know that's how it is here. Just looking at this, take a look at it. You know, why would they have this here? Why would they have this here if they didn't want privacy? You know what I mean? So we're not taking that off because if I was to take that off, y'all know my OCD would have me here all day. This would be a whole day job taking that, that vine off. It's too tough to even take off with a hedger. You have to really get in there with the snips and take your time and be patient. Y'all seen me do this before. Y'all seen me take off even worse than that before. So this is for privacy. So we're just gonna hit the bottom. These are so thick. I was trying to rip this off. It's really thick bonds. Man, look at these bonds we got out here. <laughs> it's a thick bond, huh? So we're gonna leave this alone. We're gonna let those grow, we grow. But we're gonna hit the bottom and clean it up. And we're gonna go ahead and pull the mower and get going. If y'all um, didn't know, I'm going to be in North Carolina from the 31st to the 4th. I'll be in Durham, North Carolina, and I'll also be in Charlotte, North, North Carolina. I'll be in Charlotte on the 2nd, I believe. And the rest of the days I'll be in Durham. If you're in North Carolina, I'm gonna be busy because I'm gonna be hooping. But if, when I'm like in my rest periods, when I'm just chilling, if you wanna, you know, come say hi to me or anything like that, I won't have transportation. So, but I'll be at my hotel and they, they might have a conference room. Maybe y'all could come by if you live in North Carolina. If, if you live in Durham, not just North Carolina, because you can live far away. But if you live in Durham, North Carolina, reach out to me and I would be happy to meet you, okay? But let's get back into this. I'm trying to get a good shot so I don't have to come back to the camera anytime soon. I can just leave it set up. Yeah, I'm going to play basketball there. Um, as y'all know, if you're following my Instagram, I was recently sponsored by Nomad Hoops. It's a, uh, it's, a, it's a group of basketball players that just travel around and play different tournaments and stuff like that. That's why they call it Nomad Hoops because you just, there's, you don't have a home court. You, you go and take people's home court. You know what I mean? You just go around and play anywhere there's a basketball and a basketball hoop. So me, me and the founder of Nomad Hoops, which is my friend, um, we're going to be doing some work. He has an event where he has to go play and I'm going to go cover it. I'm going to go film him. And then we're also going to build content together. If you have a TikTok and you're interested in watching me play basketball, you can go to my TikTok. Same thing, Clean the City Inc. on TikTok, but it's nothing but street ball and basketball over there. So don't go there looking for uh, tall grass content because it's not there. Um, I recently w went viral <laughs> on TikTok without even trying. I just filmed me doing a couple tricks with some kids and I posted it and voila, now it has 800,000 views in a week. So I didn't try to go viral there. I just didn't know that people would be interested in seeing me do tricks, but apparently people love it. So um, I, <laughs> I'm telling you y'all, I went from 200 subscribers to over 3,500 in less than a week on TikTok. It just happened out of nowhere. So if you like my basketball content, TikTok, Clean the City Inc., and you'll get more of that. But here, we cut grass for locals and people worldwide that need assistance. That's what we do here, all right? I wanna separate the two so I don't, you know, contaminate anything. I just wanna keep it separate. All right. Let's get going, cause y'all know, I, once I get to talking, I get to talking, talking, talking. I'm trying to get work done. I'm trying to, I'm actually trying to get out of here cause I have to do a little bit of prep 
for this trip. I need to make stickers for um, Nomad Hoops so we can hand out stickers. And I might go get my hair braided. I don't know. Because your boy need a... I need to get my hair done. <laughs>
wish I could hit the like button as many times as I want. <laughs> y'all talking to each other. I appreciate y'all talking to each other. Almost swung on this bond like George of the Jungle.
If Florida and my place is near, I would love to join AP and, and, and lend my hand. I work at a graveyard. Does your graveyard need any assistance? A lot of people keep telling me I should do a graveyard, but I don't know of any graveyards over here that need with the grass cutter that's not being maintained. Uh, a lot of people have been telling me that they know of graveyards, but they're out of state. If there's one bad enough, that's not too big that I could probably tackle in a week. Maybe I'll travel and do it. I'm up for anything, man. If a community really needs me, I'm down to travel. You know, like, look, I'm getting ready to travel to North Carolina just to play basketball. I'm just trying to do stuff. I don't have a wife. I don't have kids. I have a lot of time to just do things right now. So that's why I'm out here doing things in my community while I have the time to do them. Because once I have, I'm still gonna be doing stuff when I build my family. But right now is the time I really need to be getting out there and doing stuff because I have a lot of time on my hands right now. So we're just wondering.
another thing I wanted to tell y'all. I have a lot of people reaching out to me, curious if they can start a lawn business, really wondering if they could do it. You can do it because y'all see me, I'm not a professional. I just get out here and do work for people. And y'all see people try to pay me all the time, right? This lady wanted to pay me. Mr. Lopez wanted to pay me. You wanna know how to start a lawn business? Just start cutting yards for free. And you might not ever cut a yard for free because when you go to try to attempt to cut the yard for free, they might just try to pay you the first time you try. So if you wanna know how to start a lawn care business, get out there and do the work. Um, there's gonna be some special content coming in the future. I met two young kids at the basketball court that really look up to me right now. They're only 11 years old. And these kids have been trying to start a lawn care business. And voila, I just appear out of nowhere on the court playing with them, admired, they admired me and they, they're like, we're trying to start a lawn care business. I said, you know what? Me and my channel are gonna get y'all started. So me and all of you lovely folks that support the channel, we're gonna get these two kids, 11 years old, started with their own lawn care business here soon. And they, you know the reason why they wanna start the lawn care business? Because they, are, they don't wanna ask their parents for extra money to have fun. They know their parents are having a hard time and they know their parents do the best they can to pr provide for them. So they don't wanna to go to their parents and ask for too much. These are kids that are selfless. I don't know any kids that put their parents first. There go, um, I'm gonna ask, I think I just saw Jason. I hope he bring me a Kool-Aid. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about if you saw the premiere. But um, I just never met kids like that, that care about their parents so much that they just wanna get out on their own and make the money to have fun with. There you go right there. You didn't bring me no Kool-Aid. You didn't bring me no Kool-Aid. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at, at your store, are they cold already or are they warm? Oh, they have bread when they're like, I think 250 a piece. Are they in the refrigerator or are they outside the refrigerator? Outside. Oh, they, so they're warm. Dang. Yeah, I have to put it in the freezer. It takes maybe an hour, I think. Okay, what are you What are you doing? You going to get, you trying to fix your phone right now? Oh, uh, no, my phone is completely... The, it died? No, it didn't die, but you see here, the charger is fried, so I oh. can't charge it, so I'm trying to save battery and conserve it. Okay. Mm -hmm. What kind of phone you got? It, it messed up yesterday. Like what, that. What, what kind of phone is it, though? That's what we're trying to see. Yeah, this, this is like a... a How much they cost? 25 bucks. All right, then. What, you want to go get another one? Yeah, I'll wait. Maybe next week. Why? Wait. You want the money? No, if, I, if I give it to you, will you go get a new phone? Okay, then. I'll give you some money today. All right, thank you very all right, much. All right, just go get your new phone, because that's important. I know you, you're like, I got to wait till I get the money and figure it out, but let me get that to you, so because that's an important thing to have, a phone. You know what I mean? What if something happened and you need to call me? Yeah, like that? that's what I'm trying to say, because, yeah. you know, I don't want to use, use it all up and everything. It has, like, 50%. Okay, where are you going now? You got you, you gotta... i just taking a break from work. I'm coming back there now. You want me to go there after I'm done? Just go up sure, to the Sure, if you want to. Okay, me and the subscribers will come check you out when I'm done. I already said something on there. I don't know if you see it. You did? Yeah. <laughs> he was in and the a chat, yo. Of minutes ago. He was in the chat. He said yeah, something. See, What's your AOL. username? The AOL guy. The AOL guy. If y'all yeah, see the AOL see. guy in the chat or even on Instagram, that's Jason's handle. So if y'all want right. to follow him, just follow anyway. him. But we'll go check him out when we get done here. He, gonna, he works at Family Dollar. Listen, man, Jason works hard. You work, what, Monday through Friday, don't you? Yeah. He works a full-time job at, you know, Family Dollar, and he's a very, very important asset there. He takes care of the store, and he takes pride in that. So we're going to, um, when we're done here, we're going to run up to the bank. I'm going to just get you a little bit extra cash, make mm -hmm. sure you can, it covers it. We'll take some money to Jason so he can go ahead and get him a, a phone. But they're, they're, they, they acting you right now. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, so, so, Thank you very much, man. So, so, so we're going to bring him some money from me and y'all because this is coming out of my account and y'all make it possible by watching the video so anytime i do something for somebody it's us doing something for somebody thank I, I you want, there. i want y'all to get used to that tell you told him thank you he thank just, you he thank just, you very much he just said thank you to y'all so it's us doing things for people in the community i know y'all try to give me the credit but it's us I, it really is because if y'all didn't come here i wouldn't be able to do it all right so let's get back into it. jason we'll see you in a little bit mm -hmm. you have a good day you too Anyway, for everybody in the live subscriber, uh, <laughs> y'all know me, Jason, but I hope y'all having a great day. Hope y'all having a fun time watching the live stream. Yeah. I saw it at work. I want to come by and say, hey, that's all. all right. Now, Jason, go back to work. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> we'll see you soon, Jay. <laughs> Yo, that's my boy, man. That's my boy. It's crazy how you can grow close to people in such a short amount of time. It's really crazy. But like I told y'all, I don't really talk to people until I get out here in the community and do things. So this, this is how I really make my friends nowadays. Is when I get Jason today. He having problems with his phone, so we're gonna take him some scratch. And he's gonna buy himself a new phone. Shut off the game, y'all. My bad. <laughs> this is just what we're going to have to deal with with this YouTube live streaming for now. Until I get my app going. But this is the last time I'm streaming on YouTube, so don't worry about it. The next time I live stream, it's going to be... I know I said that last time, but I didn't expect to go live on YouTube again. I thought that I was going to be doing this stream on my app. What kind of questions we got? What kind of conversation we got going on for as much as I want to watch I need to get my bathroom floor go clean that bathroom floor AP if you have ice or cold drinks put them in y'all moving the comments I can't keep up with y'all plastic bag and set your phone on top oh smart my daughter is taking me to Paris. Wow. I don't want, I wish your daughter was my daughter. It's a birthday thank you gift. I'm so scared. Man, that's some good conversation going on. I want to go to Paris. But maybe one day. 
I hope you enjoy that time there. Keep us updated on that so we know if you had a good time. Well, we know you're going to have a good time, but keep us updated on your trip so we can um, make sure we keep you in your prayer and our prayers to have safe travels. Just the last bit of the gas. I just I had just enough, huh? Just enough. It might be okay if I can keep this, the phone over here. It ain't too much sun over here. Oh my God, I didn't even see that in the yard. That's pretty neat. I'll show y'all that when we get over there. But I ain't even see, y'all probably saw it. Do y'all know that y'all most likely see more than I see when y'all watch the videos? Like, you know, I could have my back turned, but y'all watching everything from the premiere that I don't see. So I hope y'all paying attention to the videos because so a lot of stuff I don't even um, I don't even notice. I'm just telling you I have my back turned while I'm facing somewhere and it could be anything going on around me in the video, which y'all see, I don't really see it. Alright. So I'm gonna keep it over here because that way we can stay in the shade. I just need to get the back of that house right here and around the trampoline and we'll be able to go ahead and start going with the lawnmower. And we'll be done, y'all. Then we can go up there to uh, Family Dollar, uh, give Jason some money for a phone. Then we done. We did our deed for the day. That simple, y'all. I was able to help a homeowner and Jason out today. Just doing what I can do. Okay, come on now, baby. Oh, my bad. <laughs>
sign that we need to put down the weed eater. <laughs> we can do the rest with the mower. I hope y'all got a kick out of me going underneath the trampoline. I did not plan to do that. It just happened. <laughs> it just happened. That's what the OCD do to you. <laughs> it just happened. That's what I was talking about. Y'all see that in the middle out there? I wonder if I can pick that up. I don't know. I need the weed eat. Thank God I had some more string. I ain't want to walk away over there to get string.
all ways not just stand up. Second time doing that. We're done. We're gonna go ahead and blow off. We're done with this one. Afternoon, AP. How you doing, Miss Wanda? How you doing this afternoon? It's afternoon, right? I'm not paying attention to the time. But I lost some. Sorry if I'm breathing hard. <laughs> I told y'all I got asthma. So when I start to work, you can really tell I got it then. Ha 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 ha!
Yo, y'all know I play around too much. I blew y'all off the tripod. I blew y'all off the tripod, man. I know y'all about tired of me. Like, AP, if you don't get the job done and stop playing around. What's life without having fun? I'm sorry, y'all. It's getting hot out here. I had to give y'all a little bit of the breeze. I didn't know that was gonna happen. I should've knew this little fragile tripod. What was I thinking?
like the chairs. today on the live stream and got the grass down um, I'm really happy I was able to do this one because who knows what's gonna happen during this week you know this homeowner just lost her son and the homeowner is the mother so you know how that goes when people pass away you know family gets together and that's what she was saying earlier when I was speaking to her she said that they was having some AC issues and they had to hurry up and get it fixed before the family came so if y'all overheard I think on the, the video before this one before the phone uh, overheated um they had family that showed up and the family that showed up i never even met these people before they showed up and she was like i watch your videos i'm like wow you watch my videos so I, I made sure to tell her too that hey i'm gonna leave my information before i leave please reach out if the family needs anything from me i'm not rich but um i don't mind trying to do what i can it's not always about money it can be other things they may need me for so i'm gonna leave my number i'll take y'all along i'll leave my number and we'll get out of here but that's what it's all about just showing love to people in the community uh, this lady has known me for the past three weeks she's been seeing me cut the next door yard and um i think she was just really impressed when she saw me return to the neighborhood it's one thing that i cut that yard next door but i've been back over here like four times cutting grass already since then so she's probably impressed by that like this gentleman really is who he say he is and he's really trying to clean up our community he would not be coming back over here to cut that yard again if he didn't care. So I think she really was impressed by that and that's why she asked me to cut her yard and we took care of her today and saved her money because during this time they have to pay money out for funeral services and all that stuff. So we ain't trying to take no money from them. And I told her I'll, ma I'll maintain her yard for her. So I'm gonna be back over here in the next week and I'm gonna cut it again for free to take care of her. And um, you see I that junk, you see how it works. I just showed up over here to cut her yard because we scheduled it. And when I showed up over here, she gave me sad news. That her son passed away but look i'm here to help her out so it's like everything happens for a reason so i'm just happy i was able to do this yard like i said to get back to the point they could be having something over here for the weekend with the family because that's why she you know she was like could you please come cut it and um i got it good and low back here you know this is a nice backyard i know y'all see the, the concrete slab and the trampoline this is a perfect place for kids to come for a family get together so i know that's what's going to happen this weekend i have a good feeling that everybody's going to be in this backyard this weekend enjoying themselves with each other as a family 
and I feel good that I was able to cut this yard for them so they can do that. All right, so let's go ahead and um, organize our stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and get another drink. I'm gonna keep y'all with me because there ain't no sense of ending the stream now. If it overheats, we'll go ahead and end there, but we're gonna keep keep streaming until until we can't anymore. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go put this down over there. I can't believe her yard is this small. Like, I really am having a hard time maneuvering through here because it's so small. I feel good about that, though. Um, that I can come help her out. It's a good feeling. All right. Make sure I don't hit no cars. Your boy thirsty again. That's what electrolytes come in handy for because you drink them electrolytes, you don't be so thirsty. So one thing you drink water, but if you drink water all day with no electrolytes, you'll just keep drinking water because you'll feel like you're still thirsty. But when you drink those electrolytes, they quench your thirst and they keep you good without needing to drink water. I didn't bring any electrolytes today because I knew this was going to be a quick job. I just brought water. That's good enough. I don't need electrolytes today. We'll be okay. All right, I'm gonna put y'all somewhere in some shade. Cause I don't want the camera over here. Hopefully these bees don't sting me. <laughs> Man, I gotta go get, I gotta call those people. Um, if y'all didn't watch the premiere, go watch it. Because uh, don't get confused, I dropped a premiere this morning. Just because I'm live streaming now, don't think I'm doing this because I didn't drop a premiere. Y'all have a brand new premiere out there for you to enjoy. So go enjoy that. And then um, and then watch this. But um, AP, you got to be 5. Yeah, that's I'm, I'm every bit of that, 5'10". I ain't tall. People think I'm tall. I guess the camera angles on here make me look tall. But I'm not even 6 foot. I'm 5'10". Now Al is tall. Al is <laughs> Al is anywhere from about six two, I think. Al is like reaching about six one, six two. He tall. Um, if y'all ever seen a picture of me and Al, you can see the difference. If you ever seen a picture of him in the lawn carry juggernaut, you can see the difference. Me and Kevin short compared to Al. Um, but y'all stay with me. I'm gonna go ahead and, and take care of this. I'm gonna go get the lawnmower and pull it over there. Well, no, I ain't gonna bring the lawnmower over there. I'm gonna take it to my car, but I'm gonna be right back. You'll see me coming around the side of the house. Just stick with me. I'm gonna just put stuff away and then we'll talk and holla at her and give her my number and then we'll leave.
Y'all still here? All right, we done. Yes, sir. I'm wondering, I'm wondering when I get the people to come out here to get those bees, if they'll give me some of the honey. Because I have to pay for that service. I hope y'all know that. Um, they don't just come out here for free. You have to pay them to come collect the bees. And I, I wonder if they'll actually let me have some of the honey from the, from the nest. We'll see. That's on another video when we, uh, when we clean up Mr. Lopez's yard. Well, I'm gonna call him probably today, actually. Well, no, I'll call him next week because I'm gonna be out of town for this week. I'll call him before I head back home and make sure Mr. Lopez figure out a day that he want me to cut his yard and the day that I schedule for Mr. Lopez, we'll have the people come out here to collect those bees. Um, they won't let me over here when they collect them, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my GoPro in the tree and I'm gonna have it I'm gonna have it. Uh... Can you take my? You know the people that live here, right? That's your mom. Can you take my number and give it to her? I'm her lawn guy from now on. But I told her since y'all had the family loss, that if they need anything, they hit me up, and I can do the best I can to try to help out. Let me know when you're ready. It's area code six seven eight five two zero. Don't be. Ah, uh, they're gonna hear my number. <laughs> ah, six five four three. <laughs> Don't call me, y'all. <laughs> I'm live streaming right now. But give, uh, my name is AP. But, but give her my number and let her know that I'm here for y'all. So whatever they may need from me, just tell her they can a text to call me, okay? Okay. Thank you. You have a good day, all right? Stay cool out here. It's hot, man. Y'all better not call me. <laughs> now I'm about to change my number. <laughs> I couldn't end I couldn't end the live stream. Oh god. Oh. Jeez, man, I ain't clear out my nose before I started today, huh? Man, how did I open this, though? Let's see. I don't know how to do it. Oh. Woo! It's hot. It's truly hot right now. Die. Perfect timing. We gotta go over to Family Dollar, y'all. If y'all wanna stick with me, I'm going to uh make sure y'all can hear me. I'm going to Family Dollar to uh give Jason some money to get a new phone, and I'm thirsty, so I'm going to get me a drink from there. Let's go check him out, see if he's working or hardly working. I ain't gonna lie. I 
ain't gonna lie, she wasn't bad looking. She can keep my number if she want. <laughs> I couldn't see through the tips. And then when she, when she rolled out the window, I said, oh, she's pretty. Listen, man, I'm single. I don't be out here trying to press up on no woman like that, man. But hey, man, one thing we need to do, we have to start complimenting our woman, man. Dudes be trying to act so tough and stuff. Or if they ain't trying to act tough, they trying to do it the wrong way. They trying to always grab a woman and force themselves on a woman, man. Just all you got to do is just give a woman a compliment and walk away. That's it. You give a woman a compliment and you walk away, she gonna respect you that much more. But trust me, when a woman see what she want, she'll let you know. Trust me, man. Sometimes it be hard to read signs, but you just play in your position. And you let the universe work out for you. Cause not everything is meant for you. So even if you see something, not every, like they say, not everything that shines is gold. Or not everything that glitters is gold, whatever they say. Whatever they say. But it's like, you know, not everything is for you. I don't care if you see the most attractive person in the world. It's things, it goes beyond the looks. You gotta really dig deep if you wanna be with somebody in life. You can't just go after somebody because of how they look. You're gonna end up sad. I'm just letting you know that. So the best thing to do if you see somebody that you think attractive, you let them know, hey, you're, you look good today. You look very nice. Like, and you walk away, you leave it there. If they want, if the woman wants to continue the conversation after that, she'll speak up and say, thank you, what's your name? Then the conversation goes, and then you can lead it from there. But there's a lot of dudes out here that just be trying too hard. And then once your reputation get messed up, women tell other women. So once your reputation get messed up, you don't think you're gonna go to the next woman and try to be all smooth and nice to her and not pull that same thing. She gonna be like, oh, I heard about you. Listen, word around town, you ain't got no respect. That's all it's about, man. That's all it's about. Just if it's meant for you, it's meant for you. Don't force nothing, man. Just give people compliments and keep it moving. And if, if God wants you to be with that person and the universe wants you to be with that person, then it will work out for you. But be patient, man, because a lot of y'all be forcing yourselves into relationships because you can't be alone. Listen. I love being alone, but I do know that I would like a significant other, but I don't need it. I can, I can be alone and be fine with that while working on myself because you gotta work on yourself in order to love somebody else. You gotta love yourself first. And people think they know who they, who, who they are, but you don't really know, man. You gotta really figure yourself out, and that's a life journey. That's a life journey, man. It don't happen overnight. It ain't happened last year. You still got a lot to learn about yourself. So really figure out who you are get to know who you are before you try to get to know other people because then you're going to be really confused because you don't know who you are then you got to try to get to know this new person and then as you get to know them you get to know yourself you start to bring up personality traits you've never seen in yourself before you're like damn i never felt this way yeah man because you ain't sit down to get to know who you are so um i ain't gonna rant but i'm just saying man we need to just compliment people more and stop forcing ourselves on people just say something if, if they don't re return the same energy, just keep it moving. There ain't nothing wrong with that. You can't get mad at somebody for not liking you how you want them to like you. Like, what kind of mess is that? If somebody like you, they like you. If they don't like you, they, they don't like you. That's life. You don't like everybody, do, don't. So don't feel like everybody's supposed to like you. So, that's it. That's all I wanna say. I think about it my dad didn't have well my dad had his first kid when he was young but my dad didn't have me and my brother i only got one sibling that I had my mom and dad with my older brother he didn't have us till he was like 30 something so i'm 32 i ain't in no rush man i ain't in no rush because you know what i want to be able to take him on that's why I made it this far without kids, because I just know, like, hey, man, it's not the right time. I'm not in the right position in my life to have no kids yet. And um, I'm going to be smart and 
make sure I don't have any. And those people that have kids before they're ready, it's okay because you get ready. When you have that kid, that kid will mold you into the parent you need to be. So there's nothing wrong with having a kid before you're ready because you get your, you get your stuff together once you have that kid. You're like, okay, it took, it took me to have this kid to get right. So a lot of people, children is what make them powerful. You know, show them the superhuman powers they never thought they had. So that's a blessing when you think about it. When you have kids and they, they turn you into a whole nother person, that's a blessing right there. So either way it happens, it's all good. But AP knows that he has a lot to, to do. If I would've had a kid years ago, I probably wouldn't be doing this in the community. Would I have a, a beautiful life for the kid? Yeah, but at the same time, it's not my trajectory. It's not my, my story. This is my story to have this nonprofit and to build love in the community. And then I can figure that out. And this is what I've been wanting to do my whole life. It ain't like just, just was the idea that popped in my head. I've been trying to figure out a way to help people my whole life. I just didn't think it would come through lawn care. But you know, God always surprised you. I'm like, hey, you didn't see this coming, but hey, it is equivalent to what you wanted to do, right? Yes, it is, God. It's very equivalent. It's right on. I ain't complaining at all. Let's get up here to this family dollar. I'm thirsty. And water is just not going to cut. Something, something, man. Older. That's why I'm, I'm willing to help him out. What's up? What's up, MZK? Shout out to California. I really want to go to Oakland. Go nowhere unless I'm helping people. So that's why I always tell y'all, if y'all know somebody that need help, please tell AP so I can travel. Because I'm not just going to travel for no reason. It either got to be about like how I'm doing this week for basketball, or it got to be to help somebody. That got to be the reason why I'm here. the video off by helping Jason. I don't know what these folks doing when they parked in the middle of the road. Only in Fort Pierce. Only in Fort Pierce. <laughs> Alright, so let's talk, y'all. What y'all what y'all got to say? How y'all felt about that stream? Um, if y'all have any questions? Now it's my time to pay attention to y'all. I'm sorry, I've been away from the camera this whole time. This week, y'all, I wanted to tell y'all we ain't gonna have a, a real premiere. I'm gonna be out of town, that's why I did this for y'all. But I will have a video, I will have a video. Um, Sunday premiere, but it, it's gonna be something. Just tune in, all right? Because it's going if you don't tune in, you're gonna miss out. That's all I can say. Because I have an idea, and we're gonna carry that idea out once I come back from North Carolina. But it's gonna be a video that I dropped this Sunday that's gonna lead up. If y'all don't show up Sunday night for the premiere, it will be on time. I promise you, it will be on time because I will edit this video while I'm waiting for my plane to take off because I got to be there early. So I'll go ahead and edit it and get it done probably by tomorrow and have it ready. But um, just show up, please, man, because it's, it's really important. I'm telling you, like, the idea I have uh, for the following week is just, it's a good one. I'm just really on some type of stuff. Just I'm just really on trying to take care of people out here, really, like, once I take care of one person, I help one person out, it just makes me want to keep going and keep going and keep going. It just, it gives me just a, uh, it's the wrong way. It's all good. It's all good. Where that family dollar at? Where is that family dollar at? I think it's 
down the, this way though. Let's see. They should have an ATM there, so I should <laughs> Yo, I'm really sorry. I promise you, man. It's not a good hole in the vent, the AC vent right now because it's gonna keep the phone cool if I do it that way, but it keep falling out of the phone. Ooh, there's some overgrown yards over here, y'all. We're gonna do a live stream one day. We're gonna come on this side of town because it's a lot of overgrown properties. You know what? I'm gonna pull it in here because I feel like we went past it. I feel like we passed it. I should have used a different type of holder. Um, this ain't gonna work. See, that's sturdy in there. I like how it did. Y'all bear with me, I'm sorry. When we're there, we're sturdy. And I got this stuff in the way. I gotta just take this off. It's all that my dang camera. Family dollar. Hmm. Hmm. I'm so confused. Well, fine. This gotta keep. It's a lot of overgrown properties over here. We got a lot of work to do. That's why I don't be pressed on no type of videos. I'm like, I got a lot of work to do in my community. Um, I don't, and if y'all were thinking that I try to get out here and try to find the biggest yard, that's not what happens. I get out here and I just look for people to help. Whether you got little to no grass or a lot of tall grass, if you need the help, you need a cut, I'm gonna come through for you. That's just what it's about. That's why I came through for uh, frequency. Was his yard tall? Yeah, but it wasn't the tallest I've done so far. And th that wasn't the point. The point was he needed it cut, so I cut it for him. So I ain't into trying to find the biggest yard, trying to be the, the uh, YouTuber that cut the biggest yard. I ain't into all that. My purpose is, oh, it's right there. How did I pass it? My purpose is a little deeper than that. We trying to really help folks out. said just doing that for her right there knowing that her that her son just passed away that was big that was big man to be honest that's enough to be a premiere this week helping that lady out man she needed help but you know i like bringing content for y'all so that's not enough what y'all got to say what's going on what mark Lar talking about yeah for real give till it's hurt mark Lar, what is your profile picture because I'll never forget you because your profile picture. It just, it made me laugh when I look at it. I've been wanting to ask you that for a minute. Like, what is that? Like, who is that dude in the profile picture? Like, it looked like some, like, I don't know how to explain it. It just gave me a feeling of, uh, nothing negative. It just, like, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Chasing some money. AP, you should do a live Q and A with us. I'm gonna do that on the app, Lacey. I've been waiting. I don't want to spoil it. We're going to have some real fun when I release the app. You think this fun? This is nothing, man. And we're going to have some real fun when that app gets released. 
can we can do tutorials, we can do questions and answers, we can do whatever y'all want, man. As long as I feel comfortable doing it, we can do it. You have an ATM in here? I never thought that they are fake He's working. Look at him, y'all. He's working back there. Look at him. <laughs> He's back there working. I'll take a, a Gatorade. You want a Gatorade blue? I got you. You already ate? Y'all got like a break room or a refrigerator? Y'all got like a refrigerator where you can put your lunch in and stuff back there? Where? Like a break room. Y'all have a break room? You're not. Go ahead, man. <laughs> Don't mess with you. I'm trying to see if he ate so I can give him some lunch. Did you eat lunch? No. Did y'all have like a refrigerator? Yeah. Y'all yeah, got like meals in here that you want to eat? You want me to grab you something to eat for lunch? Yeah. I got you. You caught that, uh, that purple sale? Yeah, I got something for you. Here. Here. Thank you very much. Get a phone. I will. <laughs> I'll put it in my credit card. There you go. I like how y'all family dollar is set up. It's Kool-Aid? Are oh, you finna show me the Kool-Aid? What you about to show me? Do you, no, I'm asking, do you have it in Raid? Raid? Yeah. Oh, um, no. Not at the moment. Alright, check this over there. Hold on. Help, help, her, help her out. Help her find the Raid. Y'all might have something. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. I'm trying to see what I'm going to get Jason to eat. I know they got a microwave back there. He can warm something up. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> what, <man? laughs> what you like to eat? Oh, you put, <laughs> you put what in the I thing? did it. I did it for you. <laughs> you put it in the refrigerator so I could get it and it's cold. All right, what you want to eat? What you going to warm up? Uh, you take that? Yeah, That's good enough? Put it in the microwave. You can just put it in the microwave. You're not going in the bag. Okay, I'm going to buy it. Where are you going to be at? Because I'm going to give it to you when I pay for it. I'm good. I, all I need is, well, I'm going to get me something to eat, too. Why not? Take me something home for lunch. I just worked so hard. Uh, oh, yeah. This look I'll good. Tell, I'm I'll not tell you nothing. Yeah, I, have, I have people, right? Uh-huh. This one is better than that one. But I don't have cell phone, so I used to hop by just to see your video. It's just oh, save power. It's best than to go on there and drain a lot better. Right, right. Uh, you got to get another one now. I think the last hour I checked this through. Most great, great this and clean up. There's a lot of nasty other things. Nah, you working hard, man. Don't worry about it. You can always catch the stream. That stream ain't going nowhere. It'll always be up there. But, um, I don't know what I want, y'all. Yo. Um, I guess we can go with these. Go with the boneless chicken bites. 
ahead, man. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come back here and give you this in a second, unless you want to come up there with me. Whew. We worked hard today. We worked hard today. Buy two, get one free. That's a deal. Uh -huh. That's a seven up photo. That's it? Those fireball? They sell the fireball? They sell fireball and family dollar. Oh, my bad now. Yes. Did y'all know that they sell for, uh, Fireball and Family Dollar? That's crazy, huh? Wow. Yeah. We're going to stay live, man. I still am helping people out. I just got Jason some lunch, and I just gave him some money for a new phone because his phone acting up. We're still, we're still giving. So we ain't going to end the stream until we're done giving. I'm really feeling the ginger ale. Hey, I don't have to wake up at 6 o'clock to do the talk. <laughs> oh, you don't? You don't have to? No, no, they're coming later. Oh, they're coming later. Like, for the past three weeks, it's been 6 o'clock, and that, that's oh, rough driving me crazy. Oh, yeah, that's rough, man. <laughs> yeah. 6 o'clock. Yeah, the money, sun ain't even up, really. Yeah. Make a lot of money. yeah. Okay. It's the job, bro. You got to do yeah, what you got to do. Gotta, yeah, I got to put up the water, and I'm done. Okay. So I'm going to do that really quick. They got four loco and they got fireball. That's crazy. Let me see what y'all saying. Yes, he sure does. What's up, Tanya? What's up, Invisible Angel? I didn't know you was in here. AP, next Monday I'm buying your lunch. Oh, you don't have to. I support you 100%. You give hope and humanity with all this negativity you bring hope thank you sir no problem thank you tony i appreciate you you love fireballs i ain't i ain't know that family so they ain't playing in here what's up donnie how you doing today now i can pay attention to y'all messages in the chat Thank you, Dom. I appreciate it. What you got going on today? The problem, man, I will always take y'all along with me if I can. How you doing today? Good. good. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. I will try to take y'all along with me as much as I can, man. You haven't hit that like button yet. Hit the like and drop a pair of scissors or a lawnmower. Where you? Where he went? This is cool. This is the Jason to eat during lunch. Oh, okay. Y'all have a good day, okay? You too. Thank you, ma'am. You getting both of these? Oh, yeah, you do. One. All right, Jason. Your food up there, right? Your food at the cash register. I told her that it's all your right. food, all right? Let me know. Just hit me up if you need me, all right? I'm coming there in a couple of minutes. You're coming back. Okay. Over there, I'm about to go home. That's why I said, if you need me, call me. I can come through later or something. <laughs> Hit me up. <clears throat> my boy Jason put me some Kool-Aid in the refrigerator. That's how you know he... He really my friend, cause he was thinking about me that much. That he was like, AP want Kool Aid, but he don't want to buy it from the store because we don't keep it refrigerated. So he took a box out of the aisle, 
<laughs> he put it in the refrigerator. <laughs> Shout out to Jason, dog. Man, that's my dog, man. You gotta try to get Jason a job doing what he loves to do. Like I told y'all, if you ain't watched the premiere, watch the premiere so you can get familiar with what I'm talking about, man. I ain't just talking for my health. Jason loves siren alarms, like those fire alarms. And I don't know if y'all have one in your town, but we have one like every three months that says, this is a test. It's only a test. This is a test. And it repeats itself over and over. It's only a test. Yeah, Jason is Mr. Lopez's son. What's up, Mike? Who Mike Jones? Who Mike Jones? For real, not hot Kool-Aid, Lacey. That's how much he know. Like, listen, man, he looked down for me. These things are ice cold. Like, I was working the perfect amount of time since he put them in there for them to get ice cold. And now they're going to be refreshing the drink. Somebody left a comment. Kool-Aid rocks your teeth. Okay. <laughs> That's why you have to take care of your teeth and brush your teeth at least twice a day. I hope y'all brushing y'all teeth twice a day because I brush my teeth sometimes more than twice a day. If I eat something and I know it, it got all in my teeth, it wasn't just regular food. I, I, I like to brush my teeth after I eat, but try to brush your teeth as much as you can because my dad always told me you only got one pair of teeth, son, so make sure you take care of them. I know y'all can go get them dentures and all that. Me and Al thought about doing that. <laughs> but I was like, bro, that, this costs too much. I ain't going to do that, man. You know, well, I'd rather pay for somebody in my family to get it done before I even get it done. I'd rather pay for somebody to get it done than me. I'm all right. You got to and floss. Please make sure you're flossing your teeth. If you brush your teeth and you don't floss it, that defeats the purpose. That defeats the purpose. So do both, all right? Brush, then floss. Go ahead and floss immediately after you brush. That way, you know, you're already in the in the act of doing it. Just get it done. I'm telling you, y'all will really appreciate yourselves the more you take care of yourself. We die with this one body, you know what I mean? They say the soul lives forever, but we only get this one time, so we gotta take care of this the best we can. I can't believe I'm still streaming. <laughs> Somebody said, just stream all day, AP. I wouldn't mind it, cause I just be chilling and working. And this is the first time where somebody, well, this is the first time where I had a crowd of people that just enjoy just being with me, just chilling. like stream all day if I could is there is there is there where I'm supposed is there where I'm supposed to say I never brush my teeth some people don't for real man like it might be it might sound unbelievable but some people don't brush their teeth <laughs> Some people don't. Uh, some people don't brush their teeth enough. That's what it is. Like people brush their teeth, but some people just don't brush their teeth enough, man. For real, man. Y'all better go back to the basics and remember when you used to go to the dentist, how they told you how to brush your teeth too, in circular motions. You gotta buff it on out, man. Don't be all oh, this, you know. How you buff a floor, you gotta buff. your teeth are like porcelain, man. Like there are man, your teeth are hard material, it's like porcelain, so you gotta really polish up your teeth. You gotta treat them like that. Man, that Kool-Aid ain't nothing to play with. I'm sorry, I know it, it rot your teeth, but I'm gonna drink these. This whole box gonna be gone by the end of the day. And I'm gonna brush real good. So it's a building up here, y'all. Since we're at a red light, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all. I wonder if they'll let me paint it. I was just looking at it the other day and I was like, I wonder, I would really like to paint that building for those folks. That building right there. It's it's really rough. On the other side, they have portraits. It looks so cool, but it's peeling. And um, they also own this building right here. 
that yellow little building right there they used to serve pizzas out of that but it's looking real real rough so i wonder i wonder if they'll let your boy paint them so um when i come back from um north carolina we'll visit them i'll we'll ask them if we can paint their building and if they say no they have it's portraits of people that are in our family on the outside I will repaint the portraits. I will say, well, I'll redo the portraits and make them look even better. I bet they can't say no to that. I'll really do it and for free. How about that? Possibility. I, I want to show y'all the portraits though so you can really see. Like, this, it, it may be, I might have to talk them into it because I know they don't want to get rid of those portraits. It could be people, I know it's a family business. So it could be people that own the business that passed away like a grandfather or a grandmother and stuff like that or an uncle and stuff and i know it's sentimental that's why they haven't gotten it repainted they probably like no we don't want to repaint that we just got you know people that we really care about on the building and we want to keep it that way so i'm gonna come to them and i'm gonna say hey i would love to repaint your building i see as people that you have painted on here portraits i will to repaint those portraits and enhance them we'll see if they'll let me i would love that AP how was your sis birthday it was good um I ended up like spending her birthday ended up being like for the rest of the week after y'all saw me cut that fence line the next day I it was still her birthday the next day after that that's why I was a little bit late on the premiere too because we had to just really really celebrate her birthday because we be working hard me and my sister room we barely see each other like we just she know I be working hard too. We just she worked for the school board. She worked for the school right down the road here. So, um, but she's like a manager. So y'all know how that be. You know, you a manager anywhere, especially a school. You have to pick up the slack. You have to um, you have to stay later than everybody else. You know how that go. So me and my sister barely see each other. So we had to really get time in for her birthday because we knew right after it. It was going to be right back to working all the time, so. But it was good, Lacey. It was good. We had a good one. I took her and my mom to Outback Steakhouse and um, got them. Y'all remember. I was on time, too, so if y'all were worried about that because I was cutting that fence line for a little while, I was on time. That day worked out perfect. What y'all got going on today? What's the plan? Who wants to test out the app? It's not ready yet, but I, w I want some people to test it out before I actually really, really go live. So if you want to test out the app, um, if, yeah, it's Cherry. If you want to test out the app, um, email me at ap at cleanthecity.net. I got three different emails. I got ap. I separate them though, so don't be just emailing me to email me. Like ap at cleanthecity.net is for me, specific email for me. Then you got donate at cleanthecity.net. That's for you know emails pertaining to how to give to the nonprofit. Okay. Then you got contact at cleanthecity.net. It kind of works like the ap at cleanthecity.net, but it's kind of more business. Like if I go talk to somebody about something I'll give them that email but if, when I'm talking to y'all y'all can use AP at cleanthecity.net if you want to direct something directly towards me so um, use the emails accordingly please man please because then if you're wondering why your email hasn't been read yet because it went into the wrong inbox and it's not gonna be I'm not gonna read it urgently so if you want me to read something for real you need to send it to contact at cleanthecity.net or AP at cleanthecity.net and that, let that mail be for me. Uh, if you want to talk about donating or doing something for the nonprofit, don't at cleanthecity.net, all right? But if you want to test out the app, please email me. And um, I'll keep you in mind because I really want a handful of y'all to test it out before we go live with it. Before it's on the app store, got to fix some bugs or whatever we got to do. Let's do that before we make it go live, all right? Need y'all help now. It's a nice day. When I woke up, it was sprinkling. But that's Florida for you. Like I said, Florida just bipolar, man. 
want to rain sometimes. I want to be dry. I don't really like how this works. I wish the chat would just stay on the screen because it, it pops up and it, it fades away. AP, Lacey wants to test it. Okay, I got you, Lacey. Lacey, you got to make sure you email my other email because you. I think you, you emailed me before, but make sure that you fall into the um, the contact at cleanthecity.net email or the AP at cleanthecity.net. Just hit me up so I have your email in that in that database now so I can go ahead and, and set you up. Who else? Anybody else want to test it? Same thing will happen for the video game, but I told y'all what I have planned for the video game. I want some of my older subscribers and I want some younger subscribers. I want to be able to mix y'all up, but I'm not planning on releasing the game until maybe a couple months. And hopefully we can keep pushing to grow the channel by then. But even if it isn't where I want it to be, I'm going to make a sacrifice and put some money to the side <clears throat> to get at least five of y'all to an Airbnb. I'm going to be, I'm going I'm to stay there with y'all for the two or three days we'll be there. And we're going to have a contest. Y'all going to play the video game and you got to beat the game before the end of it. And also, whoever has the, the highest score at the end of the game will go home with a cash prize. What are you going to do? Um, I'm thinking I can cook for y'all, too. Since we'll be staying in the Airbnb, I can cook meals for y'all. We'll have fun. We're going to make it like a reality show. For real, man. We ain't waiting for nobody to approach us and tell us that they want to do a deal with us to do a reality show. We're going to do our own show. I'm not waiting for nobody. And then, and then when somebody approached me, I'm not trying to do nothing with them because I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to sell my ideas to nobody. I'm not trying to sell my creativity when I know I can make it happen. Like, forget that. We're going to make it happen. I got cameras. I got all type of stuff. I got everything I need. Subscribers. That's it. So, it's just too much. I don't, it's too much. I don't want no Discord. I got the nonprofit organization. All I need to do is just set up a checking account and y'all can donate. You know what I mean? All the other stuff, I can I can do like a, a cash app and open up all those accounts and, and link them to the, the nonprofit checking account. So if y'all feel comfortable just donating through your cash app, you can eventually do that. But all the other stuff, I'm just, I'm not gonna really get into now. It's a nonprofit organization. Those that want to help me out and give to it, it's easy to do once I get it set up. All the other stuff is just too complicated. I just ain't that like, so, man, come on. I'm getting tired of this thing. They don't want to stay there. They want to give me a hard time. I remember the same road I popped the tire on and Al had to come get me. Just like last year, this time last year, because this road, a lot of big trucks are on this road back and forth because there's a lot of warehouses and stuff over here. And um, they'll mess up the road. Like the big trucks, they'll just leave craters and take big pieces of concrete out of the road and then they'll they'll leave and they can get in trouble for that. They're not, if a, if a truck knows that they just messed up the road, they have to call and let the authorities know so they can have somebody come out here and fix it immediately because that's what happened like <clears throat> i saw a lady in front of me hit the same crater and her tire went out i wasn't really thinking nothing of it i just was like dang maybe she pulled over to the side of the road to make sure her car was straight after that but it was a truck in front of her that caused it and she was trying she had got the tag number and she was trying to figure it out because she knew her tire had got popped so I, I, I hit the same crater and my tire got popped too. And I pulled right behind her and she said, don't tell me your tire is popped. I said, yeah, it's popped. She said, I'm gonna get that driver that was in front of me, that semi truck driver, he caused this hole in the road. I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna tell tell the people that he did that. I said, dang, you finna do it for real? She said, yeah, like look at both of us right here. Like we were on our way to do things and carry out whatever plans we had to do today and now we gotta wait 
to get our tire fixed now i said yeah you ain't lying i just didn't know it worked like that i ain't know that if um those trucks cause like damage to the street they have to report that so that somebody can come out and fill the street right away so this is a rough road right here it's actually uh selvitz road so if you're in fort pierce and you're on selvitz road in fort pierce be careful it's not a good road to be on i can't believe 190 people y'all would be in here um before i end it y'all want to do a giveaway i can get it shipped out to you today as soon as i get home i can just go ahead and, and put it into production and get it out for you um lacy drop a trivia question lacy i'll let lacy pick a trivia question and y'all have to answer it so we waiting on you lacy We'll do two giveaways. How about this? Because I, um, I know Lishi knows a lot. So Lacey and Lishi, drop some trivia down below, and both of y'all will get a piece too. Just for me choosing y'all, y'all will automatically get a piece of merch. So Lacey, drop down a trivia question for the folks to answer. And Lishi, you go ahead and do the same. And um, whoever answers, they'll let me know. Lishi and Lacey will let me know who answers the questions first. And um, Lacey, Lacey and Lishi, send me who answers the question correctly first to my email along with your shirt size so i can go ahead and get merch shipped out to you let me know if you want a shirt or a hat if you want a hat it's one size fits all if you want a shirt just leave me your your size in the email with, uh, with the name of the person that got the uh the trivia question correctly Y'all, y'all figure it out, man. I left it in their hands now, so they gonna let me know who got the, uh, the answer right to so whatever question they they ask. Oh man. Good, man I love working hard that's why y'all be telling me you need to stop doing all that hard work no <laughs> I love this man I got insomnia it's hard to sleep at night so my dad always told me because he got insomnia too man I, I feel like a, a twin when it comes to my dad I look more like my mom but even when I get older I've been looking like my dad lately <laughs> But I feel just like my dad, because I remember, man, when I was a kid, he used to have to listen to the sounds of thunderstorms and rain to go to sleep. He had the CD in his boombox every night, or the cassette tape, and he would play it every night to go to sleep. And in order for me to go to sleep, I have to work hard during the day. You know, you gotta, if y'all wondering why you can't sleep at night, do something, be productive. That's the reason why he had to teach me that. He was like, son, um, you do a lot of work, but you like be working on the computer. He said, I ain't downplaying your work because you work hard, son. But he said, if you want to sleep good at night or you want to get rest, I had to learn that I had to, you know, work. He said, because when you work, your body is going to make sure you get rest at night. But if you don't really do nothing physical, then your body ain't going to want, you no. Know, it's just going to be up. It's going to be like, oh, we ain't do nothing today. We ain't do nothing today. Like, so I had to learn that, okay. Let me start really putting some work in out here. And um, I mean, I ain't just start. I've been doing it, but it does work. And I, I don't overwork myself if y'all thought that. Like, let's, let's keep it real. AP doesn't put on a show for YouTube. AP knows when it, too much is too much. And I know what I can handle out here. So trust me, man. Just support the channel, y'all. You know, don't leave comments saying that it's too much work I'm doing and I need to get this and I need to, I don't need nothing. I just need to keep this work. I need y'all to support me. That's it, man. Please just support the work I do. Stop complaining about me working hard because I enjoy it. It gets me good rest at night. It keeps me in shape. It keeps me sharp. It keeps me learning new techniques, getting better at cutting grass, like, Y'all might think I was always good, but I feel like I get better and better with each yard. I'm like, just improving. 
So, okay, you put your blinker on really late, lady. Like, you should have been put your blinker on and let me know you were turning. Like, now I got people going around me. People don't know how to drive. Just use your blinker when you need to and use it ahead of time so people know where you're going. <laughs> All right, Leisha and Lacey, how's things going? Do we have winners or are we still going at it right now? Also, if anybody has any kids, if you have a kid that wears... What's, how do kid size work? Is is a size two a kid size? I forgot. I got to figure out the actual... I got to figure it out. I don't want to give out the wrong information now, but I will be giving away a Clean the City, Inc. nonprofit organization co a coverall to a kid for Halloween. Um, as y'all know, I was speaking on starting my own uh, workwear brand. I've already been been in contact with the factory. I've already been in contact with the factory. I sent my prototype over to the factory so they know exactly how I want it done. So and they they've already it's already in production. Actually, the coveralls are going to be done in like 3 days and then they're going to ship it to me from um Pakistan. But um I'm not playing, man. I'm out here active. I might, you know, y'all might just be thinking I'll be so busy with the, the uh, premieres and I'm late on the premieres, but it's a reason why I'm late on these premieres because AP is really, really putting work in. AP working on a video game, which is not easy. And somebody left a comment saying, AP, you speak too much about your ideas, man. People gonna steal your ideas. Um, I doubt that, man. And if they do, that's why I speak about it in the video so they know like AP Ben said he was gonna do that. You gotta time mark yourself. You gotta time stamp yourself. If you do not put it out in the universe, it will not come to fruition. If you want things to happen in your life, speak them into existence. Do not be shy about your ideas. And if people will copy you, then you inspire it. People can copy me all they want. But what you gonna do, make a video game exactly how my video game is? Like cutting people yard and helping people in the community? Like, this is what I like to do. I like video games, so I'm gonna make a video game. And that's why I tell everybody, just be true to yourself on this social media, man. Don't be copying people, okay? I'm not calling out nobody because y'all have called to my attention that people be copying me. And that's why I stay to myself. I'm not mad at that. I don't have any sour bone in my body about people copying me. But one thing I don't like is when people, you know, just take it overboard. I'm like, come on, man, just be yourself because I want to know who you are. It's not, a, it's not even about you copying me. It's about me really appreciating your content. And then all of a sudden I just see me in your content and I'm like, well, what happened to you? Like what happened to the person that I know I, I started to love? Your personality that I started to love. Like, why do you have to change that? Because you think that I'm getting attention that you want. I'm not looking for attention, man. Me and my subscribers just over here having us a, a, a party. We just having fun. You can do the same thing with your subscribers, remaining who you are. You don't have to change that. Any content creators watching this, you can be yourself and the right crowd will find you. And that's why I'm not rushing it. There's other content creators out there like, oh, how do I get more followers? How do I get more views? How do I get more of this? And then they start to really, really make these horrible titles for their videos that has nothing to do with the content. Now, if I'm wrong, which I know I'm not, because I know what I do on my channel. I don't over-exaggerate on my titles. Every title that I have, if you go look at all my videos, every title that I have, it's right on. It's, it's dead on with the, with the content in the video. I don't just put titles for you to make it clickbait so that people click and watch my video. Like, I, I don't, I'm not trying to lose my integrity. I'm out here being AP until the day that I die. I'll never be anybody else. This is who you're going to get. And that's why when people leave comments like, you need to do this, you need to change your content to this, your intros are too long. I'm like, no, they're not. You just want me to listen to you and you want me to do what you want me to do. Like, that's controlling. Do y'all see that? Like, when y'all tell people that, like, if, if, it, if it is anybody in here that's doing that, just realize what you're doing. Like, you're telling somebody to do what you want them to do. It's not cool, man. I'm not here for that. If my, if, if my profits drop on this channel, who cares? Not AP. 
Because, like, I, I always tell people, I will go work at McDonald's to continue funding my nonprofit organization if I have to. I don't care. I will go work at McDonald's. I will go work at Burger King. I will go work at the Family Dollar with my homie Jason. I will do whatever I have to do to continue to fund my nonprofit. All right? I'm not here to be a slave. The people that love me for who I am will come. And that's how every content creator needs to be because then they can remain who they are. And therefore, their content will be fun to make. Y'all always say, you're going to get burned out. No, I'm not because I'm having fun over here. AP and the Clean the City Nonprofit Organization channel, we over here having fun. Therefore, we'll never get burned out. But when you're doing this type of content and you feel like you're not doing the job how you want to do it because you got to please the people that's watching your videos, then you become a slave and it becomes a nine to five again. I, I work my nonprofit like a nine to five full time and it don't feel that way. I'm out here. Y'all see me? I was out there dancing, jumping on trampolines. <laughs> Like, come on, man. Like, I'm out here having a blast. And ain't nobody gonna stop me, okay? Hello, AP. Just woke up and there's you on part two. Yeah, I'm sorry. I really wanted this to be one um, live stream. But, you know, I have outdated devices. I need to get some updated stuff. And um, my iPhone is just not really good in the heat. So it overheated. Not as bad as the first time, though, right, y'all? Because that first stream I did was really a nightmare, huh? It was overheating like every three minutes. But this time was a little bit better. We did better. But this is the last. That's why I'm staying out here for so long. Because I really want to connect with y'all. I'm almost home. But this. Oh, and I'm going to take y'all somewhere. I'm glad I stayed on this stream. Guess what sold, y'all? Guess what recently sold? I'm going to see if y'all would guess. I did this. This is almost one of my first videos. It was like my third video. Can y'all guess? It was like my third video. It just sold. I'm going to take y'all there. And ever since it sold, it just sold like maybe three weeks ago. I'm going to give it three weeks. Not No longer than three weeks ago. They've been maintaining it. And I'm so happy that the new owners are maintaining it because they, they got to do a lot more work. They might have to lay new sod out there because that grass is fried. Where is it at? It's right here. I'm going to pull in there. I'm so happy at sold because this was an eyesore and they're doing a good job taking care of it. We're going to go check it out real quick. <laughs> Every time I pull in here, it just reminds me, it brings back memories because this was like literally one of the first yards I did. And it's not even a yard. This is a, <laughs> this is a, a big one. They could do a little bit better work on that ditch, though. They got to do that ditch a little bit better. Uh-uh. I wish... I, I, I don't want that. Cancer Center Treatment uh, Center to... Um, I don't want that place to sell because I want it. <laughs> I know it sounds unattainable, really. I don't know if that's even possible, but... <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that place selling unless they really going to take care of cancer patients again. If they sell it for anything else, I'm going to be upset. But guess what sold, y'all? that y'all remember this I know come on it was one of my first videos it had to be I think it was my second video but there look y'all see how they hedging y'all know these were in bad shape look especially these over here look you know they maintain it they keeping that real nice and, and, and clean on the top. So I'm really happy. Oh, y'all couldn't see it. They keeping that real nice and clean on the top, huh? <laughs> That's how you know they maintain it. When you see that the bushes and stuff are hedged nice. That's how you know they're maintaining it. So I guess somebody just bought the uh, funeral home. I wonder if it's going to be a funeral home again. I would like to talk to the new owners one day if possible.
But this was a public nuisance, and I cleaned it up before somebody bought it. Look, <laughs> look. Tell me if y'all can see that. The code compliance special magistrate and for the city of Port St. Lucie, Florida, trimming, trimming, replacement of all dead plant material, removal of all invasive and exotic plant material, and removal of re refusing to breed. If vegetation which is required to be planted or preserved dies, it shall be replaced with equivalent vegetation. Recommendation, maintain landscaping. Recommendation, maintain landscaping. Exterior property areas, high grass, high grass and weeds over 12 inches. This is what Derek, this is, this is, this is what people are getting in trouble for y'all. High grass and weeds over 12 inches, violation. So that's, that's what they're cleaning up before, but somebody bought it and now they're taking care of the property. So that's what it's all about. I'm very happy for that. And I, I can't wait to meet the, the new owners because I want to show them the video I did. They probably be like, oh man, you, you came out here and cleaned this up before we bought it. But um, we'll see what they end up using it for. Hopefully they keep it as a funeral home and um, take care of people's you know loved ones once they, they go on to the next life. But I was really happy to see that because like I couldn't keep maintaining this one, y'all. I'm just gonna be honest. Like maybe if I acquire a zero turn in the future, that would be easy. And that's the only reason why I would get a zero turn. I wouldn't even use it all the time. But for the properties that I need to maintain, of course, I'm just gonna cruise over there. Eh, 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 and then I could take my sweet time edging up. You know what I mean? But I like push mowing. That's just what I like to do. But I'm happy that they bought this property. And we'll, I'll keep y'all updated about it too. We'll see what they end up doing with it. But I, I know for sure. Usually funeral homes, when they get bought out, they just become another funeral home. It's kind of hard. People don't really <laughs> feel comfortable doing other business in a funeral home. that well, In a place that was previously a funeral home, they feel weird about it. Like, uh, this used to be people. Like, dead people used to be in here all the time and stuff, so... Me, I don't see nothing weird about it because I don't know if I told y'all, my mom used to work for the funeral home and the morgue. I don't want to get too detailed and graphic right now, but my mom was the person that had to deal with like taking the brain out of the skull and dealing with all the bodies and stuff. Like, so it, this ain't, it don't weird me out or creep me out, nothing like this. She made us go through the morgue when we, when we were kids because the morgue that she worked at, had a glass light window where you can see them in there working on the bodies and um just to let us know that it's real life i really appreciate my mom for that i really appreciate my mom for that because she wants us to just understand like this could happen to you if you play around in life all right like this this where you're gonna be at if you want to play games in life and you want to act crazy you're gonna be right up in here and i'm gonna be messing with your body and getting you ready for your funeral and she wasn't trying to scare us, but my mom always talked about real life situations with us as kids, whether it was sex, anything. She was like, we're going to talk about this right now so y'all know what's going on. And I appreciate her for that because just looking at me and all my siblings, like we're just like real people and we have our head on the right way. Like we think the correct way we treat people the right way like it's just all about how you raise man and that's why i'm trying to really push for positive media ap's working on the children's book all right a lot of media that's being feed to like fed to our kids right now it's really not positive and it's just really trying to mold them into being monsters out here man like i don't know what the government wants from us but i know they don't want us to succeed so a lot of the media that's being pushed onto our kids it's just really not what it needs to be it's negativity it's violence it's all this so now that i'm in this position y'all protect me because y'all know how it go when people start really making moves like this i ain't know no high scale or nothing so they can't see me and i hope and pray that they don't see me because when they see people out here doing positive things they'll try to stop that because they don't want you to do that i literally think that's why tupac was killed for real man because tupac was so strong 
his personality was just so strong and his character was so strong, man. And he had so much influence on all cultures, not just black folks, black, white, yellow, green, purple, everybody loved Tupac. And he was pushing for a better narrative and he was pushing for change. And they didn't want to see that. They didn't want to see that. They didn't want to see that. Tupac was really ahead of his time. And he just really loved people. No matter who you were, he was going to show you love. And he was just really pushing for a better world. And um, when you have that much power and you're in that position and you're trying to make a change while they, and you're going against their agenda, sometimes they don't work out well in the end. So that's why when y'all tell me I need to, somebody hit me up during the live stream and I want to tell her thank you. I forgot your name, ma'am, but I, I really want to say thank you to you. And I want to keep you like, I want to keep you in the loop because I feel like she could really educate other content creators. Um, she, she was trying to teach me about marketing, but like, I really, y'all got to realize AP spent a lot of time reading and just learning. And I'm a marketer. I don't claim that. But look what I did for Al. If y'all are day one supporters, y'all know that AP, like, come on, man. Even the coverall is a marketing a marketing um, plan. You know what I mean? Like, just the coverall itself. Somebody said it in the comments. They was like, look at AP. It's just a marketing genius. Look at him. Like, every time you see him, you're going to see Clean the City. Every time you see him, you're going to see Al Blaze on his hat. This all is marketing. You don't have to market in a way to like spend money or uh, make websites or do all this. It's about you putting your brand in front of people at all times. That's a big part of marketing. And y'all see it, man. Y'all, Every time y'all see me, y'all see clean the city. And that's what marketing is. That's all I'm for. I'm not really trying to shove myself in people's face. I'm not trying to market too much. I want an organic growth. I want organic growth. That's what I'm for. Oh yeah, kids are out of school, so there's a lot of traffic over here. But yeah, I want organic growth. I want to be able to share my channel with people in the community, and then here and there, we can share it online. But I'd rather y'all share it for me, and we can move it that way. I'm not, but I appreciate her because there's people out there, and I told her this, there's content creators, whether they're in this niche or in other niches, that don't know how to market themselves. Therefore, they could use her expertise. Because when she left some uh, stuff in my email, she everything she was saying was correct, but it was stuff that I was already doing. So I was like, well, I'm already doing this. And uh, some of the other stuff you're saying, I really don't want to do because I don't want to really push to be popular. You know, I'm not trying to get seen by too many people. It's unnecessary, you know. I'm at a good place with the channel to where I can operate out here. And it continues to grow. I don't need it to go any faster than it is. I am okay with the growth that I'm getting right now. And um, that's how we're going to move. You know, I could be, I said all the time, I could be, people tell me, oh, you need to shorten your intros and you'll get more subscribers. There's a lot of ways to get more, more subscribers here on the nonprofit channel. But, um, it takes away from me being able to use the creativity I have. It makes me have to become somebody I'm not at the end of the day and do things that I don't want to do. So as long as I can remain myself on this channel and have fun, then I'm good to go. And I can my, my subscribers can pause right now and not grow, and I'll be fine. And meanwhile, there's other people that's like, oh, man, I have a And that's the bigger picture here. I have to keep that going at the end of the day. So I just pulled up at the crib, y'all. This is where it ends. Um, let's just make sure. I ain't leaving yet. Did we get a winner? Did we get two winners yet? Leashy and Lacey. Do we, do we have winners? Let me know. All right, so, so we're done. Like, y'all both picked. Okay, Lindsay. Leashy is in here still or no? You want both? <laughs> See, Thomas? Thomas know what's up. You too, Violet. You too, DBS. Thank you so much for being here.
I'm gonna make sure if y'all want me to respond to you right now, go ahead and drop it. I'm paying close attention to the chat right now. No, I didn't. Leisha, let me know what you uh, what your question was. I love you too, Karen. Love you too, Karma. No problem, DBS. Who we got in here, man? God bless you. Thank you, Tammy. I, I remember your name because it's spelled that way. And I saw you in the premiere. Thank you for being here again. Hello, AP from Tennessee. Great videos and live streams. Thank you, Eddie. Eddie Conquest, thank you so much, man. Rob Killer, I see you all the time, man. You really support and love the ride along. Thanks for the stream, AP. No problem, Rob Killer. Thank you for being here all the time, man. And I truly, I see all y'all. Legit King, um, that's my homie. I really appreciate you too for all the support, man. Like, great work, AP. Thank you, Lori. You keep doing you, AP. Blessings will follow. Thank you, Miss March. AP, what email the one I emailed before? I can't remember which one you emailed. Lacey, I, I, I'm sure I can find it, but um, just make sure that you email me at contact at cleanthecity.net or AP at cleanthecity.net. Thank you for uh, the compliment, Linda. I really appreciate it. You should always remember everyone. You should always remember me. Everyone should. <laughs> See, that's Lindsay with attitude. That her name is it. it. It just explains who she is. I love and respect you. I love you and appreciate you, AP. I love you and I appreciate you too. I don't want to butcher your name, Hijabi. I really love you and appreciate you too. I don't I don't use the word love lightly. Like me and my mom really love people. AP, okay. Bless you, AP. Thank you, Clara. Listen, man, I'm trying to catch up with y'all. I still got, I'm going to make sure I, I video, uh, send video responses to people on Instagram too, because I've been late on that. Um, and if you left a comment on my videos, I've been real behind. I'm going to catch up though, especially when I fly out to North Carolina, I'm going to have a lot of time on my hands to be on the phone. So I'm going to be responding to a lot of folks in uh, the next couple of days. Um, Saginaw, Michigan, Dominic, shout out to Saginaw, Michigan. I, I am a vintage reseller or i used to be so i have to source for my my inventory from different places like flea markets and auctions auction houses and stuff like that it was an auction house in michigan in saginaw uh that i used to get vintage from all the time and they would ship it to me i would buy it from their online auction and they would ship it to me really good folks but i have a lot of michigan vintage michigan uh gear um, from like the Fab Five team where Jalen Rose, Chris Weber, and all them. I have their jerseys. I have so much stuff from Michigan, man. And um, I love buying stuff from that auction house in Michigan. But you reminded me when you said that. Youngstown, Ohio needs you, AP. I'll help. Listen, anywhere that needs me, please let me know. Because um, I, was, I still plan on doing it. But there's some people that are part of the subscribers that live in North Carolina and I was like what they just reached out to me and asked if I could help them with a yard because they are trying to help somebody an elder in their community with the yard but um it's kind of overwhelming where is my sister at because she left the keys in the door <laughs> what is she doing them keys in the door man oh god I hope she okay I gotta check on her but the keys are in the door but uh, anyway, um, yeah, they wanted me to come to North Carolina. I really do want to because I'm, go I'm going there this week to play basketball, but I'm not going to be able to move like I want to to go help them out. They, they live like five hours away from Durham. So I'm like, ah, I don't have transportation. The good thing is they have all the equipment I need. So um, that's probably what it was, Lacey. They have all the equipment that I need, so I don't have to bring any equipment with me. I just have to show up and do the work. So um, I'm going to fly to North Carolina for this basketball event, and then I'm going to come back home to Florida, and then I'm going to plan another trip to go out there and help those folks out because they sent me pictures, and boy, 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 like that grass, 
that grass, they really need help. They're trying, they're doing the best they can too. Like they're, they're doing the best they can. And it's just, they can't do it alone. So I'm gonna try to go there and help them. If the funds are where they need to be at, I, I can do that. It's just, I tell y'all, I don't ask y'all for no money. I just need y'all to watch the videos. The more y'all watch the videos, the more content I'm, I'm gonna bring to y'all because it's gonna bring, it's gonna enable it, enable me to be able to pay for a flight and be able to, y'all gotta realize when you pay for a flight, you gotta pay for a hotel stay. You gotta pay for your food during that visit. It's not cheap, but I'm not asking y'all for money because simply all y'all gotta do is just watch the videos and it funds me. Now, do y'all wanna, you know, donate? I understand y'all will be able to do that, but we're not gonna push for that right away. All y'all have to do is simply show up and watch the content and AP can get out here and stretch his legs and help people out. That's just how it works. AP, we got to create you listening to the La La Land song with YG yet. I got to catch up. I've been missing some comments, huh? Clean the city and every city, AP. Right. That's what it's about, Mark Lar. It's not about just my city. That's why I went to Gainesville and helped out Miss Annie. That was the first yard I actually did with the nonprofit, and it was in a different city than my own city. So when it's called, when it's clean the city, it's about cleaning every city worldwide, whether that's a city in Brazil or a city here. It's like, where are we going with it? You know what I mean? Like, let's, 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 let's go to any city and let's clean it up. So it ain't no, uh, it's no limits for me. A lot of people reach out to me like, um, are you willing to travel? And I'm like, yeah, like who need the help? See, I'm, I've been missing some stuff. Let me, let me get back up here. Hey, thank you, Jacqueline. I know you're working right now. Thank you for taking the time out to, to leave a comment. It's okay. As long as you're watching and you're here with us, you ain't, you ain't got to put nothing in the chat. We all here together. Thank you, Mia. I think that's who I gotta. I gotta sing your hat because you won the giveaway last time, and I haven't sent you your hat yet. So I will make sure I do that today. Thank you, Alice. I appreciate you. There's no other than AP. Love your attitude. God bless you all from Ohio. Thank you for that, Tammy. We appreciate you. I saw what Lishi said. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Lacey. Just put um, AP at cleanthecity.net. And that's my email. Or you can put contact at cleanthecity.net. And it'll go into my inbox. AP, I love your happy grass dance. Yeah, we love you, AP. You're the best. Y'all are the best. I watch all your video and premieres, but don't comment much because I'm... It's okay. You don't have to. That's fine. That's why I know it'd be a lot of people that be in the premiere and they don't leave comments. That's fine. Like, it, that's the reason why I be so silent sometimes because I'm trying to watch the premiere with y'all. Before, I was just so focused on coming and back, I didn't get the chance to watch my own premiere. And I know y'all probably like, well, it's your premiere. You, you did the video. You did the work. You, you don't have to watch it. But I enjoy watching my content because I put a lot of time in creating it. Like, I put a lot of time in my editing it's not easy man i sit there and really think about things and put it together so i try to really pay attention to the video with y'all because once i edit it i put it out there i don't watch it to see if i made a mistake that's why if y'all see mistakes here and there it's because like ap is just like a one go editor i just like edit it and i shoot it out there because it take youtube so long to process that you just have to get it on you have to start uploading it immediately the best thing to do if you like I drop a video on Sunday, it's best to have the video uploading by Saturday night in order for it to be ready by nine o'clock on Sunday. That's the crazy part, huh? Like in order for that jump to be ready, I have to have it uploaded at least by 11 p.m. at night on, on Saturday for it to be ready on Sunday for nine o'clock. It's like my video files are big. That's why I told Al, I think Al just invested in a new camera. I said, Al, like just just really be ready for the file sizes, man, because whoo, like when you edit with like my type of gear, 
And the only reason why I edit with my type of gear is because I've been had it. I didn't get it for tall grass. I've had it for the past four to five years. So this is what I already had. So I went with it. A lot of people are asking um, what they need for content. Just use your phone. That's what Al used until he got his camera now. And he only got his camera now because he's a content creator. Al has several channels. He's not just making tall grass videos. He got his camera for other content he's making, not for tall grass videos. So um, if you want to do this type of work in your community, just get to work. Whatever phone you have will work. All right. Um, Jason just helped me film the other day. His, his camera was not that expensive. Was it cheap? It wasn't like 30 bucks, but it wasn't over $200. So it's like, you know, you don't have to go get too serious. Like I told y'all about my story with my camera. I lived in a storage unit to save up for my camera. And that's because I wanted to become a videographer, not just a tall grass videographer. This was before I even knew about these type of videos and content, all right? I had my camera because I was in Atlanta and I wanted to be a videographer. I wanted to do documentaries in Atlanta and music videos. So I knew, okay, well I have to you know, make a sacrifice to save up almost $4,000 and I had to do that. But just because y'all see me recording with my camera don't mean that you got to go get the same camera. Like, just do you, man. That's all I can tell y'all. Just do you. And at the end of the day, you will be very happy with that because you'll know that you can be yourself and people will still love you. All right. So um, I love y'all. We got some big things coming in the future. Um, if you are wanting, you know what? We'll start the process now. If you think you can beat my game that I'm working on, basically I'll give you the gist of the game. The game is a, a spinoff of Zombies Ate My Neighbors. If you ever played that on Super Nintendo, it's a spinoff of that. But instead, it's going to be me as the main character and you use me to cut through tall grass to save homeowners. The homeowner is going to be positioned either outside on in the lawn somewhere or inside the house. And in order for you to get to that homeowner, you have to cut through the tall grass. And while you're cutting through the tall grass, there's going to be tall grass monsters chasing after you, trying to trying to kill you. And you got to you got to eliminate them while you're trying to get to the homeowner and save them. And each level, you have to collect as many homeowners as you can before you move on to the next level. And that's why I said that when we um, when we do the Airbnb stuff. Whoever has the, the best score at the end is going to be the person that saved the most homeowners in the game. That's how you get the best score. But, um, yeah, AP question has who is the cemetery your uncle is buried? Oh, you talking about uh, George? You talking about that question I had? Is, is that what you're talking about? But that's how the game is going to go, y'all. So if you're interested in being part of the group that tests the game, I'm going to really, really select people. Like, I'm going to select the people that I, I really um, gathered together for this. But if you're interested in being part of that, once again, um, send an email to ap at cleanercity.net or contact at cleanercity.net. And I'll start, at least I can get a heads up and start figuring out who like to play video games. Please do not email me if you're not interested in video games because then we're going to get we're all going to get together and you're not going to be interested in anything we're doing you know i'm doing all sorts of things in the future so maybe something else will be something that you'll like to do just be patient and, and fall into line with something that you want to really do with me but please if you're emailing me about the video game and being chosen be somebody that actually plays video games and you don't have to play them now because i don't play video games but I miss playing the Super Nintendo, so that's why I'm making a, a Super Nintendo 8-bit style video game. And if you used to play the Super Nintendo a lot, you don't have to be actively playing games now. But if you remember playing those old systems, the, the Nintendo, the Super Nintendo, and I know I have a lot of uh, subscribers that are older than me, Atari, anything. If you remember playing those systems and you remember the good times you had playing them, and you would like to play my game, email me, and I'm going to start sifting through the emails and figuring out who I want to choose. It's not going to be tomorrow. It's not going to be next month we do this. It's going to be towards the end of the year, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it for sure, all right? I love y'all. 
If I missed anything, I do too, Tammy. I do too. That's the funny part. And um, man, we're gonna have a blast. Like literally, like I might have my um, I might have one of my best friends, Devere. Remember my best friend that I told y'all that um, invited me to Bible study. I might have his mom cook for us, and that's fresh Brazilian food right there. She don't believe in leftovers. <laughs> She don't believe in leftovers. She cook every single day, twice, sometimes three times a day. So I know that she'll be down. I can make sure I look out for her and she'll come through and she'll cook for us. So, um, oh, you want to know this? One, two, three. I drank three so far. That's how good the Kool-Aid is. <laughs> but um, we're gonna see, and I'm glad you just put that because um, when I bring y'all together in this house, we are gonna have Bible study, all right? We're gonna eat dinner and every night, well, at least one night out of the nights that I bring y'all, we're gonna have Bible study together too. And I can let my best friend orchestrate that. While his mom cooks, he can be the orchestrator of the Bible study. So, um, it's about really growing together, y'all. This is it's bigger than tall grass. Me and Al been saying that for the past year now. It truly is bigger than tall grass. We really love and appreciate y'all, and we want to grow with y'all. Um, if Al is down, he will be at the house too. I really want to get him involved because I know y'all love Al. Like y'all, y'all come here because y'all love me. But man, listen, like I know people truly love Al. And that's why I try to connect people with Al when I can. That's why when we did the city cleanup, I called Al so that they could hear him on the phone and talk to him because sometimes it's hard to reach Al. He's so busy, man. He's a busy man. He has two kids and a wife and a family on top of that and his wife's family that he's also involved with. So if y'all are like wondering, like, dang, I can't get in touch with Al, realize Al is more, bu he more busier than me with real life stuff, okay? With real life stuff he's out here right really providing content for y'all helping people in the community and being the man for his family that he needs to be so um y'all have to just be patient with my best friend you know like don't get mad because he's not responding to you and please don't hit me up and make me the middleman and stuff a lot of people been doing that just please don't do that because then it makes me feel like i'm a like i need to go take your message to him every time and i don't want to do that like just be patient, man. Just be patient and reach out to Al, and he will do the best he can to reach out to you. But I just don't like when people use me as the middleman. Like they, I swear, my that's why a lot of times I be it's so hard to respond to y'all emails because so many emails come through that are directed to Al, but they're asking me. They're like, hey, hey P, well, uh, can you do this? Can you can you tell Al this? I'm like, no, man. Like leave me alone. I'm I'm not trying to be rude, but like I don't want to keep getting emails about a message I need to relate or give to Al. Like, just, if you're trying to get in touch with me, email me. If you're trying to get in touch with Al, email him. Leave him a comment. If he doesn't get back to you, then that's just what it is. I'm sorry, but I just don't want to be the messenger, okay? It, it just is it's getting too much. I don't want to be the messenger. I'm a grown man out here. That's not my job, to relate messages and give messages to people. I'm not the messenger. I'm out here trying to do work in the community, okay? And just understand, don't get sour about Al not responding. He is a busy man. What's up, Nigel? So I hope y'all enjoyed this. I know I'm talking a lot, but it's so hard to leave y'all. That's why I can't wait for this streaming out because I'll probably stay on even longer then. But it's also, I'm trying to work on getting like a place. I don't wanna, I've been getting apartments my whole life. I don't want an apartment, I want a house. It don't have to be huge. It can be a one bedroom house, all I care. It could be a studio house. Like y'all ever seen those studio like, st style houses? Not, not the ones that you can just move wherever you want to move them, but like the small homes that are just not too big. I'm not a material, materialistic guy. I'm simple. Alvin, I used to live there, man, and I'm coming back. So maybe I can see you. I lived there for four years before I came here. Al influenced me to come back to Florida. I was right there in Atlanta, Georgia, man. I was everywhere. Norcross, Georgia. Uh, Austell, Georgia. Like, literally, I was all around Atlanta, living in different places. Lawrenceville, Georgia. Like, 
I was on the north side. I was on the west side. I was everywhere in Atlanta. So I definitely will come back. And if you want to get together, we can get together. Um, hey, Tanya, I need to call your mom. I really do. I need to call Miss Annie. You too, Tanya. Look for a lion property. I, I will. Mark Clark, help me out, man. Help a brother out. Help a brother out. Now, you know God will bless you with a house if you ask. I'm, I'm asking. You know, I haven't been asking for it. So I'm going to start praying on that. Okay? You in Austell. What the freak? I don't even miss where my art studio was. Listen, man. My art studio was off of Veterans Memorial Highway. Do you know who MC Razor is? The barber? I'm wondering if you know who MC Razor is, the barber in Austell. He moved, though. He he, His his barber shop is in a different uh, city now in Atlanta. But he was in Austell for a good amount of time. MC Razor. Hey, AP, I love watching your videos. God bless you. God bless you, too, Shay. I know, Tanya. I need to hit up Miss Annie, man. And stop playing around. Wait till... Wait. Wait to buy... Till market drop. I missed that. What was what was we talking about, Lacey? Hey, AP. Oh, hey, hooking up now. Homecoming. Every time I hear homecoming, I think about just when I was the homecoming king in high school. That's why I see it. It don't start. It it didn't start here, y'all. Like I've always been a shy person, but I've always loved people. And that's what that got me to become homecoming king in high school. I didn't even want to be on home, homecoming court. I told my principal because I was so close to her and I used to just hang out with her in her office all the time. I said, Dr. Dr. Kelly, I don't want to be on homecoming court. And she said, well, AP, you have no choice because your fellow classmates voted you on. She said, we didn't put you on there. She said, little do you know, mostly everybody in this school loves you because you take time out to really show appreciation to people even those folks that get looked over the the kids that are called gothic kids and that get picked on you always show appreciation to them and that's what that's why you're on court and then i won and my mom was like you gonna win you know that i'm like i ain't gonna win like i'm the only black person on homecoming court and i hate to bring race into it but i was in a predominantly white school and she was like you gonna win watch i was like mom i'm the only black person on this court <laughs> i'm not gonna win this we got to the football field during halftime, and they said, Aramis Ponder. I said, no freaking way. I looked up in the stands, and my mom was like, she pointed. It's like, you know, when you look into a whole crowd of people, and I, this is homecoming night, so it's over. I swear, I'm looking at over 500 people crowded together. It's like, as soon as I looked up, my mom was in plain sight. It was like God told me to look in a specific location and the light just shined on her and she pointed right at me and she said, I told you. I can't hear her, but I can read her lips. And I said, wow, like this is crazy. So it's it's been a long journey, y'all. I've been really just out here just loving people my whole life and it has given me the opportunity to do things. I have, you know, I just, I can't control this. This is just life in the universe. I just wake up and do the best I can every day. And I hope y'all are doing the same thing. Don't make it complicated. Just wake up and do the very best you can as a person every day. Don't, you don't have to mow grass. I tell y'all, man, you ain't got to do this. And even if you mow grass, you can charge for your services. You ain't got to be out here doing free service, man. Like if you want to start a lawn care business, do that. It's not necessarily about doing free service. There's actually lawn care companies on YouTube in the same niche that are making really good money just showing them cutting client yards. So it's like they're getting paid for the client, from the client and from the YouTube. So you don't have to, you know, fall into this. Now, if you truly love people, then this could be a good route for you. But if you're just really forcing it, which a lot of channels are, I'm not gonna call out no names. I just keep it real, whether you like it or not. <laughs> I keep it real because I like to protect y'all because a lot of y'all, we share audiences. And I love that y'all go watch everybody's videos because that's what it's about. We're out here as one collective helping all of our communities. But then we have our apples that fall down the stairs and hit right, right where we are. And they're like, oh, I'm going to do it too. I'm going to get out here and do these videos too because they making money. So I'm going to hustle during this pandemic. 
and they're doing it for the wrong reasons. And you know what? I ain't got to say nothing to them. I ain't got to tell them to stop because you know what? God sees everything. God sees everything. And you can think you out there fooling people and think you, oh, I'm helping people. Y'all look at me. Ah. Mm. I ain't got to tell you nothing. I ain't got to say no names. God knows everybody's heart. And if you think you're getting over on us, cool. Maybe you are. But you ain't giving no you ain't getting over on the man upstairs up there. He know exactly what you're doing. He know your heart. You can't hide from him. You gotta report to him at the end of the day. And what you gonna look like reporting to God when you he gonna say, I knew your heart wasn't there the whole time. Oh yeah, you made you some good money the time you was doing it, huh? But now look at you. Uh-huh. I let you get a little taste of that. I let you get a little taste of it, huh? You thought it was going to Thought it was going to last forever, huh? Now what you going to do, huh? Get get yourself together. Get yourself together. Y'all going to have to report to God. And I am too. I ain't leaving myself out the loop. But y'all going to have to report to God about the things you're doing. This is, this is media. And I don't want to push out the wrong media. And I think you should think about that too. Don't push out the wrong media. Be you. And really be doing this for the right reasons. Because at the end of the day, if YouTube say, hey, we can't pay y'all no more for your content, AP got a nonprofit organization. And I can continue to do my work if this was to fail. And I ain't got to record it to work, work my mission. If YouTube stop, I can get out there and still clean up people's yards and still receive funding for my mission. All right? And do you. Don't start a nonprofit organization because AP has one. And now if you want to start one because you truly wanted to start one a long time ago, do it. But just stop following suit and, and copying people. Just be who you are, man. Whether that's you dancing in your videos. <laughs> I'm calling it out, man. I'm calling it out because I'm authentic. And I can see myself, man, within other people's content. And it's sad to see because y'all are amazing people being who you are. I'm telling you, man, I promise you, y'all are amazing people when you are yourself. But when you start being somebody else, that's when people start to laugh at you. We're not laughing with you, man. We're laughing at you because it don't look cool. All right, so I love y'all. Hey, if you need me, leave a comment down below in this video. If you need me, hit me up on the Instagram. Um, let's spread love and positivity. Even when people just not being themselves, we still going to love them and pray for them because that's what God asked for us to do. He asked for us to always love his people and pray for them. And that could be somebody that flat out committed a crime. We got to we got to we got to learn how to um, just really forgive. All right. Forgive people. And continue to move on and continue to grow as a person. I love y'all. I truly do. That's why I don't want to get off this live stream. I just love talking to y'all. I can sit here all freaking day and talk to y'all. But I have some work I got to do. I got to prep for this, this travel. I'm going to North Carolina like i always been telling y'all this whole video. I got to prep myself so I can't be on here for too much longer. So um, when we do the live streaming with the app, y'all going to have a lot of my time. I'm just letting y'all know that because I can set you up while I'm working on stuff, while I'm cutting grass, while I'm making merch, while I'm editing my premiere. Y'all can be behind the scenes on all that. So um, let's continue to pray for each other. Let's continue to be ourselves at the end of the day. Please, man, if y'all are part of the cleaning crew over here with Clean the City Nonprofit Organization channel, please be yourself. Because that's the only way I'm going to that's the only way I'm going to love you. I can't love somebody that's not themselves. I hope y'all got my number earlier. Maybe you want to rewatch this video and uh, take my number down if you heard me say it. <laughs> Give me a call. Maybe I might answer the phone. We'll see. If I get some, uh, some numbers that are not in the same area code as me, I'll pick up the phone and see. If, if y'all want to remember that number, just give me a call. I'm giving y'all permission to do that. All right? I love y'all. And until next time, continue to cut it up. And Lacey and Lishi, make sure that you send me the winners in my email along with your shirt size if you want a shirt. If you don't want a shirt, just ask for a hat. 
all the way from UK on the WhatsApp. Teresa, Teresa asked him, what are you trying to ask me? I'm, I don't want to end the video. Lori, I know you heard me, but it, there's new people constantly coming into this, this stream. Don't be selfish. There's other people besides you that's coming in here and I need to continue to repeat stuff for people to hear. Cause not everybody's gonna go back and watch the beginning of this video. So I have to keep, that's what this, that's what live stream is about. You gotta keep reiterating things cause people are steady coming in here that haven't been here, in here the whole time. She wants a date with you. I was, hold on, what's going on? What, what AP really, what you mean? I'm lost now. He said, I'll send you my number, AP. All right, Legit King. I just love that name, Legit King on YouTube. It just sounds like powerful. Ask him, Lacey. Ask me, Lacey, what's going on? Hey, love you too, Alvin. Alvin, you're not the... No, nah, you're probably somebody else. I just met a young kid that I'm going to help start a lawn care business, and his name is Alvin. I thought that was him. We're going to keep you here. I know I'm trying to see what Lacey wanted before I get off here. They're trying to set you up with a girl. Oh, that's what's going on here? Man, that's what's going on, huh? What are y'all doing? Listen, just let it. Hey, whatever happens will happen, y'all. Just let the universe work. I ain't really looking, but I'm open to it, okay? I ain't really looking because... You just got to be open to things in life. Don't want to go out there looking. Don't go searching. But if something comes across me and it feels right, then that's what it's about. Y'all are going crazy now. Where is this going? Lacey is cute. Nobody said Lacey was unattractive. What's going on here? Ha, <laughs> Lacey said I'll text you. <laughs> Listen, man, y'all y'all got me feeling, but uh, boy ain't gonna be single sooner or later. The way y'all be doing this, man, y'all be teaming up together trying to get me off the market. Y'all be going in. But me and Lacey, we have a relationship. Like, y'all just don't know that. Me and Lacey talk all the time. Lacey's cool. In my books, Lacey is cool, man. Y'all just trying to force something instead of just letting the universe work. But um, if it, you know things, you know, just let the universe work, y'all. I'm just out here trying to strive for greatness in the community, trying to bring people up with me. You know, it's not about me coming up. It's about bringing people up with me. And um, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're out here doing. I, it's not about me, man. It's bigger than me, really. That's why I named my channel Clean the City, Inc. instead of my name. I could have named the channel Cutting Tall Grass with AP. AP this, AP that. No, because it's bigger than me. It's called Clean the City for a reason. It's all of us here. So when y'all say AP is so cool, well, we're all cool. How about that? Did I, am I missing something? I mow, I mow me a yard. No, let's it be. If it's meant to be, it will. <laughs> Look at A Milo. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm just hanging out with my people, Milo. If you want to leave, bye. I ain't being mean. I'm just being funny with that. Like, we are, we here chilling. Like, if, when I log off, I log off. But right now, it's 150 people in here. And the more I say I'm going to leave, I feel like I need to stay. But I'm going to go ahead and sign off. All right? I love y'all. <laughs> Listen, man, everybody that subscribed to this channel, we are some goofballs. We have fun here. All right? We just goofy people. And we have fun. Jason, have a good day at work. I'm going to see you soon. Um, everybody have a good day. Whether you're working or you're just chilling, I love you. I love you. I love you. Don't feel shy to hit me up. AP responds, okay? No matter if I have 80,000, 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, I am going to respond. Hit me up on Instagram. Leave a comment. I'm going to catch up during my travel. And let's talk, all right? I love y'all. Until next time, cut it up. Uh, uh, uh.